We got a little bit of snow here. It's about mid-January or so. It's a little bit on the ground, so I got to get out and plow it. Usually I do this at night during the work week. Being that it's a Sunday afternoon, I can get out here and, and do it during the day. I don't currently have a snow plow, as I mentioned in the last video, and all I'm using is the box blade and the bucket. In the quickie video, I talked about the the level indicator on the for the bucket, the curl. Here you can see the original plate. This is the original plate right here. What I did was I just simply ground off the, the weld that was on the rod. I tried straightening it, heating it up and straightening it, but it going through this tube is so tight that I have to get it dead nut straight. So I just went to the metal get in place and I got um, some new round stock here uh, and welded it up, ground it off and welded it up. Uh, you can see here that these brackets are bent. They're all chewed up and bent up. They're not touching the cylinder, so I'm not too horribly worried about it. Uh, that happened when I was using the tine bucket, and I was doing some stuff with this tractor, once again, that I probably shouldn't be doing. So The other thing, and I'll, you'll see it better when we fire up the tractor and curl the bucket, the, the top here, instead of having a ring that I ground, ground around it and trying to kind of see that ring, uh, I just ground it off at a point and my thought process is this tube got filled up with snow and ice and stuff and that's how it got bent up it couldn't push it out so I'm hoping that at a steep uh, angle point on there if that ever happens again it can actually you know chisel it out as I curl the bucket instead of bending this rod I'm gonna check the oil really quick how I would normally do this is I'd, I'd put the key in the ignition I don't even get in the cab. Uh, everything's set from when I park it, uh, the HVAC system, everything. So turn the key, pushing the clutch with my hand, there's a little locking um, thing up there that can hold the clutch down. And I just look and see when that glow plug light turns off, I turn the key on, it starts up, I let it idle at an idle, all the way down in, in, at idle for about 10, 15 seconds. And then I bump it up to about 1500 RPM. And that's where we're gonna let it sit for about a half an hour. So it's pretty cool. It's warm out here today. You might see the snow falling out of the trees from time to time, but it's still cold enough that that oil is pretty thick and we want to get that nice and warmed up. Same with the, uh, the coolant. There has been a problem with these tractors that if they go in the region mode cold, it can actually blow up the turbo. So because the, the turbo is not lubricated well enough. So if this thing decides to go into region mode right now uh, with it cold, or while I you know, just started working or something like that and the engine's not completely warmed up yet, we can run into some mechanical issues. Just know there is a fix out for that. This tractor hasn't been updated. Um, that's a service call I have to have the dealership come out and do. I just let it get really warmed up and I use the right oil and, and all that stuff. So, all right, let me get that done. And my paper towel here, reach in here, pull the dipstick out, check it. You can see it's between the two marks. Wipe it off nice and clean, so the oil is good. Carefully put it back in there. Make sure it's all the way down. Cool. Reach in, turn the key to on while it's waiting. It's gonna push down the clutch pedal, and there's a little lever up there that I just push up. Looking at this light, when it turns off, reach over and just turn the key. Looking at the tachometer, about 10 seconds, we're at, zero, we're at uh, idle. And after about 10 seconds or so, pump it up to about 1500 RPM. Half an hour later, we'll come back out. Should be nice and warm, ready to go. All right, it's been about a half an hour. Uh, the tractor's all nice and warmed up. I'm gonna get going on it. Going three range, drop the e-brake. I'm gonna start off in two, forward. Got my steering wheel. I'm revving it up to about PTO RPM. Make sure that the box plate isn't stuck. Pick the bucket up. I'm watching the indicator. I want the bucket level right about there. And I just put it in float. 
Make sure everything's right, and away we go. That ticking that you might hear is that chain. I can't find where it's hitting, if it's hitting. Gonna drive this down. My neighbor looks like he plowed. He does a horrible job plowing. As you can see, he just builds a berm right down the middle of the road here. I take it all the way over to the side. Yeah, he's, uh, he got a new tractor, my neighbor, and he doesn't do a very good job. He, I don't think he knows really how to use it. You can see he pushed a bunch of snow across the highway, or across the county road over there, which I can't stand because he pushes over a fence. I don't know whose car this is. Come to the pile here. Pick it up. And dump it. Bring the bucket back level. Pick up my box blade. Shake out the snow. Drive up over top of it. Bring the bucket down. So I back up all the way back up to the house. Start down it again. Up here at the top of the driveway, we kind of turn up and in. We're going up a pretty steep little bit of a grade, right here by this little baby tree. You can see before where I've kind of just plowed this. And that's my neighbor's. He doesn't do a very good job. Versus mine, right? Nice and wide. Versus not so wide keeps plowing it over to the side. He's got a snow plow. What I usually do right here is just kind of pull it all down to this little area right here and put a big old pile right there. And then I just come down one or two passes and clean up the edge. So far, everything that I've done has been pushing snow from uphill to downhill and piling it up. This section here, I have to plow it uphill. But my neighbor doesn't plow uphill. One of the things I don't like about it. And the reason why is because he leaves big old berms like this, if you can see that but they go all the way out into the road. He keeps pushing it, and eventually that fence, I don't know if you can see that fence, that's right there, he keeps pushing it over. He'll just push it, he'll just push it into the berm and then back away from it. You're supposed to come in and scoop it and dump it, right? So, that's not how I do it. Um, how I do it is I just plow it uphill and pile it all up into the big, big uh, snow pile up here halfway up the driveway it's easy enough right the other thing I'm, I'm stopping right here I actually go along here 
and plow out the mailboxes. You can see, it looks like maybe he tried, but once again, he has failed. Make sure everything's in neutral turn on my HVAC all the way up that way when I get in here next time and I don't have to climb in the cab just to start it to warm up the cab so this is just how I leave it I let it idle for about five or so minutes and uh, it's shut it off and it's done and the reason why we let it idle is let that turbo cool down and get really lubricated um, before it just goes really cold so it's really important when it's really cold outside not too horribly worried about it right now. I think it's like 40 degrees outside right now, but I still let it cool down a little bit. We're screaming hot, so. In closing, that's kind of how I do the driveway. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of snow, so it wasn't really necessary, but being that's warming up, it's, it's gonna get heavy and, and really soupy, and trying to climb that hill with that turn at the top is kind of hard to do, especially in my wife's car. Um, my neighbor, you know, we, we don't really talk too much. I've asked him a few times now to uh, not push it down all the way down. Just let me take care of it, you know, if, if it's an issue um, for him to plow uphill. Uh, he has this little small, small, it's like a 30 horse Mahindra tractor. He actually called me last winter after he'd called a tow truck because he has a plow truck as well, a pickup truck with a snow plow on the front of it. He ran that off the, off the hillside and it got stuck in the snow. And then he got his little tractor to try and pull it out and he got that stuck in the snow. So he called a tow truck to try and drive up to him and winch him out of the ditch, both his tractor and his, his plow truck. Unfortunately, the tow truck driver wasn't even gonna try to get up his driveway. It's pretty steep and narrow and deep snow because again, he just turns his plow onto the side and then plows it all up in a big berm. That berm doesn't go over the side of the hill, but when you plow through it in your, t in your plow truck, because you lost control, it will go over the hill, and he's gonna get buried in the snow. He asked me if I can go plow him out and plow the road wide enough for the uh, big tow truck to get up there to get him out, and I did. But it just goes to show, you know, I mean, and I told, told him then, uh, if you keep your driveway wide, you know, it, it's in the summertime, it's nice and wide. It's wider, you know. Um, if you keep it wide, and you just keep plowing over this. I mean, it's, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of effort. You got to you got to do it a little bit. Um, that this won't happen. You won't have this issue. Yeah, he so he doesn't do it. He his driveway is really narrow, uh, just barely wide enough for his little pickup to go up and down it. I, it takes me maybe an hour or so to dry, to plow this driveway nice and wide and pretty. I don't leave little berms anywhere. I'm really cognizant about that, um, mainly because I don't like speed bumps. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm not, I don't haul ass up my driveway, but I don't want to be bouncing around and stuff. I have a tractor. It takes me three seconds to clear out a little berm. So just keep that in mind um, when you're plowing snow. Be courteous to your, your neighbors if you have to share a road and do a good job. I mean, it, it shows the kind of quality of person that he is by the quality of work that he does, right? So you want to do a good job in everything that you do. Um, that's it for this one. Tractor does really well. Uh, didn't really have any issues again. That, it works great and it run, runs well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Share this channel if you'd like. And we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.